Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to try to work out some new poems on Facebook Live. Um, I hopefully I don't get cut off of my Facebook, but I'm going to work on some new work out some new poems on Facebook Live. You know, here have the people hear my some of my new poems. Um, might put a uh, parental advisory on some of my poems. Um, I'm gonna move shit over here. Um, because I can navigate my poems better. Um, I'm gonna do this one first. This is a poem I this is a poem I wrote called Last Breath. Um so this is a poem I wrote called Last Breath. This one goes out to Andy, Pam and Tom, Brian and Hap. You 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 left this world you left this world to You left this world wait, hold on. This one goes wait, hold on. This one goes out to Andy, T Pam, Tom, Brian, and Hap. You. See. My fucking. You know, my fucking autocorrect is like messing up my poems. It's like. I, I, I really can't like complete my poems. Because it's like every time my fucking autocorrect does something on my phone. It's like. I can't, you know, I can't, you know, and I need fucking, uh, you know, need fucking, um, you know, fucking Microsoft Word, you know? Obviously, I can't, you know, read my fucking poems. It's like, <laughs> that's gonna have to be edited at some point, but not the swearing, but the poem. I swear as I see fit. All right, I'm gonna try a different poem because that poem needs to be edited. I mean, eventually they're all gonna have to be edited. I mean, sometimes I edit them right before, you know. It's not too late. Um, let me try something else. Maybe that's why people don't like my poems is because the fucking editing I'm process of my fucking shit is actually fucking shit right now, motherfucking shit face. <sighs> annoyed as fuck right now. Okay, here's an here's an untitled poem. I don't have a name for it yet. Maybe you all can help me find a name for it. Uh, it's an untitled poem. So here we go. If you ask me how my quarantine is is going, I I would say it's driving me to drink. I need some kind of love, and not the kind that comes from the repairman fixing the fixing the sink. Yeah, this motherfucking quarantine really really does fucking stink. But I'm trying to maintain the positive with hope that I bring th through some someone would. Thought someone would be there for for me, be would be here for, would be here by now, to love me and bring a ring. I would like to, I would like this shit to be over and go back to the things that make my heart sing. If if you ask me how my quarantine is going, I would say. It's driving. It's driving me to drink. I need some kind of love, and not the kind that comes from the repairman fixing the sink. Yeah, this motherfucking quarantine is driving me to fucking is, is, is right now. Uh, if you ask me how this quarantine is going, I would say it's driving me to drink. I need some kind of love, and not the kind that comes from the repairman fixing the sink. Yeah, yeah, this fucking motherfucker. Yeah, this motherfucking quarantine really does fucking stink. But trying to maintain the positive with hope that I bring. Thought someone would be here for by now to love me and bring the ring. 
I would like this shit to be over and go back to the things that make my heart sing. Yeah, my glasses are fucking filthy. The light, the light in here is terrible. Um, but that 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 was the poem. That was an untitled poem I wrote. I had to do it over because some of you know just just the flow of that. I got to get the flow of these. Um, I mean, I should be practicing on my own, but um, I don't really I don't really ever really practice them. So um, I don't know. I'm like, I'm very agitated with this fucking uh, quarantine. I'm very, very fucking agitated. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I need to stay away from the caffeine, but. Here's a poem called Rum and Coke. It's a drinking poem. Rum and, rum and Coke, a loaded gun, thinking of rhymes without a pun. Thinking of Jesus' redemption son. Thinking of, thinking of w what I want to do for fun. Drinking, drinking, my, drinking, uh, drinking away to happiness. Drinking, away, drinking my way to pleasures. Drinking my way to a positive life with brighter sunny weather. Rum and coke but a joke. Love, life and love more than games. There are demons, monstrous demons I, I need to maintain. Hear me scream amongst the pain. Hear me scream for my lost friends. Hear me scream for the forgotten words that don't have an ink and a pen. Rum and coke... Rum and Coke, in the morning I'll be sick. Rum and Coke, Rum and Coke, just just a fucking prick. Rum and Coke, Rum and Coke, drink until I feel fine. Rum and Coke, Rum and Coke, drink like taking a cocaine dime. Rum and Coke, Rum and Coke, the ways of the junkies make a habit. Rum and Coke, Rum and Coke, yet people just gotta have it. I don't know. Sometimes I write a lot from a recovery sense, so like you know, drugs and alcohol and sex and you know. If I ever write a poem, some of my stuff's gonna have to be parental parental uh, advisory. But that was a poem I wrote. Um, you know, this video I'm gonna write parental advisory on. I probably should have did that already. Um, I can go back when I fix it and post it again, but. Um, parental advisory is definitely going on with this poem, because some of my poems are, you know, I swear a lot and stuff. Um. Blah. Okay, see, see, now my, now my Facebook wants to go, now my Facebook on my art page wants to go, too, not enough memory to open up this page, Carl, so now you gotta go all the way and restart everything over again just to get back on Facebook, so let me just restart that really quick before, you know, I continue. <laughs> Fucking shit. Got a photo of K Bear cosplay in the back of my computer, on the back of my laptop. So, kind of is funny. I just kind of saw her staring at me, like you know, when I just kind of tried to restart my Facebook. I'm like, oh, how you doing? You know, but um, <sighs> fuck, you know, trying to see shit. Um. Fucking shit, fucking shit. Yo, dipshit. <laughs> Yo, dipshit. I'm just, don't mind me. I'm just in a fucking mood today. You know, I, I really am. I'm just agitated. I don't really, I don't really want to be stuck indoors, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not excited for the rain or the, like the snowstorm we're about to have with the crappy weather. I'm, I'm just not feeling it, you know. And I'm waiting on fucking packages to come in the fucking mail, and I'm really just frustrated about the situation because they haven't come yet. 
So, um, you know, obviously I'm going to just read these. And if I screw up, I screw up. I mean, I'll still have to work in progress. Maybe by the time I really hit, you know, hit hit the mark on some of these, I can, uh, you know, understand where I'm going. I might have to go back in and edit a couple of words to make it sound better. Um, hold on one second. Grab one of these. Just going to clean my glasses really quick. The lighting in here is awful. Also. Could be my oil diffuser, too, because sometimes the oil diffuser is a little bit of an eye irritant. So, my oil diffuser in my bathroom, you know, there's no ventilation in the bathroom. So, I have to have the window. Sometimes I have to put the windows open, you know, you know, it'll crack the window open in my, my, in my living room. To just ventilate the house a little bit. It makes the apartment smell nice, but still, it's like the ventilation in here is, is terrible. I mean, and the, the oil diffusers are eye irritants, too. So, um, all right, I'm going to read a poem called I Am King. Hopefully, there's no mistakes in this one. You know, we'll, you know. So, I, here's a poem I Am King by Carl Nicholas Urso. I am king with you or. Or without. Either you accept my love or I pout. I am king whether I, whether wh whether or not I decide to put a ring on, on a woman's finger. Whether we fall apart or we're, 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 we're trying to date or be together. Or she doesn't want the gifts that I bring her. I am king whether she goes on to another love another to love another or decides to cheat I, whether whether I am really winning or or lying in defeat I am king whether I get get noticed or not I am king whether you value my opinion or do not I am king whether I'm a single father or with a queen whether you understand me or or say, or or what I say or mean. I Whether you have faith in me or not. Whether you believe me for who I am. Or make me into something that I'm not. I am king. Whether you, wh whether you are not. Whether, whether or not you walk a mile in my shoes. Whether you own a car new or used. Um, whether I live in my in an apartment or or um or own own my own home, whether I still live with my my inner child or or I act full grown, whether I do not have have been or whether I have not been or have been abused, whether I whether my whether or not my choices have been successfully made. Or not used. I am king. Whether you love me for, for my beliefs or do do or do not. Whether you whether you whether you whether you're with me when shit go when shit hit when shit hits the fan or or won't or or won't. Whether you let me care for for you and your kids or not or not. Whether you don't love, leave, whether you don't leave leave me here, or destined to rot, I am king. Whether I'm following the crowd, whether I listen to the inner voice screaming so loud, I am king. Whether you betray me or not, whether I am thankful for this life and and I or and I am not, I am king. Whether I am black or, or white. Wrong or right, blind with sight, I am king. Whether I am making average pay or minimum wage, whether I'm whether I'm in a calm spirit or filled with rage, whether I work or am I disabled in home, 
Whether I have hair on my head or nothing to comb, I am king. Whether I am rich, I am whether whether I am rich or, or poor, here, here in in my own country, fighting off or fighting off in some war. As I said many times before, I am king. Whether I am mentally ill or perfectly sane, whether the hurt, whether whether not whether or not my heart hurts or will or will never be the same, whether I was raised with one parent or whether or two, whether whether or not you stick by me or were through, I am king. It's missing some words. My spell my spell check is awful. My mother is absolutely right. My spell check is awful. I don't have the proper lighting and shit in here to work, basically. I mean, I could fix this now if I needed to, but... I mean, I, I guess you get the gist of that poem. It was supposed to be like, you know, I am king, you know, despite despite where I'm at, you know, despite whether the, whether the good or the bad, you know, I'm still king. I, I still, I'm still valued as a king. And that's what I was trying to say in that poem, but... Um, that 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 might need a slight work, but it's not it's not like a total bad poem. Um, that was more one where I'm not actually swearing too much. I was just trying to respond to my feelings because I was feeling some type of way um, when it came to somebody. I was feeling some type of way, and I wanted to write a poem that can tell people, "Look, I am king. You might not think of me as king, but I am king." So. Whether 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 you, whether you don't think I fit the mold or not, I'm still a king. You know, maybe I'm not your king, but I'm still a king. And that's what I was trying to say in that poem. So, um, obviously some of my poems are parental advisory because I write from how I feel and the need to write. And sometimes it makes me, you know, need to swear or curse. But, you know, or say things that are really, you know, kind of vulgar and nasty. But, um... Will I get published for it? I don't know. I mean, I would like to publish some of these. I mean, they're not totally bad. I mean, some of them need a little work, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Here's one called Money. People ask me what happened to your money. I, I tell them I'm investing it into a dream. Although I have nice things, it isn't all that it seems. People make me out to be rich. People make me out to be worth money. But I choose to invest it all and what little I have into my dreams when the road isn't always sunny. Yes, I have nice things, but I'm not worth a worth a boatload of money. That that's my that was my that was my that was another response in a way. That was my response to people saying, "Oh, because he you know, hung out with different artists and stuff, and he's doing this and that, that, you know, he's rich and he's making a lot of money and stuff like that, and, you know, he's, he's, he's really, you know, making a lot more money and, you know, stuff like that, but, um, obviously, you know, some, you know, obviously on social media, people can look at your profile and be like, oh, he's, he's rich or whatever else and try to make you out to be somebody or not, but that was a poem, that was a poem called Money, um, Cause that was trying to that was my response to a money situation, um, but some like some of these I might not be able to read. And if I mess up, it's usually because there's a couple words missing or I I kind of don't have the rhythm yet I'm yet down in my head. But um, I, I'll get more inspired when the time comes and I'll try to get the gain the rhythm again. I just I don't feel as inspired in my apartment. When it comes to reading these, I gotta restart my my uh, Facebook again because it's not letting me. Uh, <laughs> it's not letting me show. Uh... It's not letting me show my Facebook. See, that's the only thing I I knew this was gonna happen too because I knew that when I if I wanted to do a live and I needed to read from my my notes on Facebook. That I would be, I would be getting constantly kicked off of Facebook, and possibly in the middle of reading my poems because uh, the connection with my space on on my uh, laptop is absolutely atrocious. It keeps kicking me offline. 
you know, sometimes I'm in the middle of searches or I'm in the middle of trying to post stuff and I get kicked off and then I see a post and I have to either remember it later or I, or I just don't remember it because I can't get back to it in time. So, um, but yeah, um, let me go back to my notes. I had, I had said on social media, and I do mean it, I've written two poems as responses to um, kind of racial taboo issues. Kind of, well, kind of on the racial, I don't want to say taboo issues, but racial issues. One of them was more taboo racial kind of sexual issues, and then one was more based off of a, ra of, of a response to some, uh, you know, racial problems with, you know, racism. Or what I felt could could be seen as racism. So, um, I had I had wrote two responses. Um, one was called "If Patty Smith Was a Racist," and that's my response to her song that you know she says "rock and roll" and this is the N word, um, which is you know the, the name of her song, which is supposed to be for outsiders. But since Patty's not necessarily black and stuff, she kind of you know there's a lot of people who might look at that and be like, oh, you know, Patty Smith's kind of you know racist, you know. I mean, obviously, I was kind of making a response because I, I, I mean, as much as I love Patti Smith as a writer, you know, I, I also I also have to live with the fact, too, that people are right. That in the response of her, her doing that, you know, there there's there's a there's there's a there's a questioning, a huge question for racism. And then the other one was about race play, which is a you know sexually charged sex. It's a whole taboo kind of kink thing where people use the N word and get people calling people the n-word and stuff like that it's something i found out about through situations which i don't even want to get into but um that was my, that was a situation about you know finding out about it and saying what the hell is next you know what the hell is out there and what the hell is next but those are two poems i can't read out loud because i i had a flat out use the n-word in them and i can't necessarily read that as a um as as a white person, I can't necessarily read that because that wouldn't be right. Um, so, um, anyways, let me find another poem. Here's what I wrote about the quarantine. I was I was kind of in a mood. I was kind of in a very sad mood. I was I was very um. I, I, this is still an untitled poem, but this is a poem I wrote about the quarantine. I was feeling kind of upset one day, and I wrote a poem. So hopefully I don't get kicked off while reading it. I woke up this morning kind of kind of heavy-hearted. I And almost wanting to cry. I'm scared for humanity. I'm scared for life. I'm scared for the political system not getting it all right. I'm scared for I'm scared for my mom, I'm scared for my friends. And and my heart is breaking knowing the world could be at an end. I'm scared for the hate, I'm scared for the lack of love. I'm scared for the racial divisions that separate us and the meat and the reason of. I'm scared for I'm scared that I'm scared that the love I have in my heart won't be received. I'm scared for the t for the tired and the power powerless begging down on their knees i'm scared for life i'm scared for you for you for your for yours there's f two fours in that um um we are we are in the midst of of a pandemic uh, outbreak and a third world war i'm scared for the arts i'm scared for the for the for humans i'm scared for the cold hard hard hardly I'm scared for the cold hardly are getting off off getting off on this with the people. I'm scared for the I'm scared for the cold hardly getting off on this with people with with the people that with the, with the people they are screwing. I I think that word kind of got changed, but 
I'm scared for humanity. I'm, I'm for each with each with each path and situation they're choosing. I'm scared for God. I'm scared for God's wrath. Although she is mighty, I'm. I wonder. I wonder if I should be scared for, be scared that heaven, that that I haven't have been have been Christian at all, and God will smite me. If if I should be even if I should even take that lightly. I'm scared to meet God. I'm scared to, to go. I'm scared to leave. Be, beyond so many things in this world and th things people do not know, I'm scared most of all that I have to go and that my time is here. I'm scared for, for, of dying alone and that's something something and that and, and if that's something to fear. I'm scared at the end that the end is really near. And, and and lives will be taken more living in fear. I don't know the the gist of that. The gist of that I means some some of the words kind of there were double words and there was a word that I didn't really understand. Um, I wrote cold. I said cold. I said cold heartedly. Scared for the cold hearted heartedly. I think it's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be cold-hearted. I think it's supposed to be cold-hearted, but it, it says cold-heartedly. So, with uh, you know the cold, you know the cold-hearted, but the people they with the people they are screwing. That 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 was a line that I was supposed to write, but I somehow autocorrect wrote heartedly. So, I'm gonna have to fix that. Um, but yeah, that was a poem I was trying to write about, you know, the people dying and. You know, people people dying in the pandemic and stuff like that, and uh, me being scared for humanity and being scared for my life because I didn't really want to go, and I'm not really, I'm really not prepared to see God right now because I feel like there's so much more in life that I have to do, God or the Creator or whatever you want to call it. You know, I I feel like there's so much more I have to do in life, and uh, <laughs> I I you know I just a lot of things I would like to do, like write a book and stuff like that, but. I mean, there's things I need to really work on, too. Like, you know, my spell check, for one. Because, obviously, if I'm going to write a book, my spelling and my poems got to make sense. They don't make sense right now. Not, not fully. <laughs> Some of that's just due to the autocorrect. And when I, when I post things, the words get changed and shit like that. I don't know what I should call that. You know, that was that was a poem about the pandemic. That was a poem how I was feeling. I was feeling scared for humanity and scared for. Maybe I should just call. Maybe I should have called it "scared for humanity." You know, because that that's kind of where I was at. You know, within that poem, I maybe I should call that one "scared for humanity." Um, Here's another here's another COVID nineteen poem. Here's another COVID nineteen poem I wrote. This was this was when the COVID nineteen first started, and I was kind of going through some issues and things, and things were going off kind of rocky, and then things got better, and then things were going rocky again, and things are things are things are what they are. I kind of learned to accept things for what they are instead of like, you know, trying to you know make things out for what they're not. But this is an untitled poem about COVID nineteen. Aggravated and pissed off. The government is in ruins. I wish a motherfucker would. Tell me what the fuck they're doing. Plagued by the pan, pan plagued by the pandemic virus COVID nineteen. I wish pe I wish the world would stop stop being self centered and that sh and that and really mean. For that shit for that shit helped no one, not even themselves. But what else? Are we supposed to do when the world goes to going to hell? I sit here aggravated. I sit here pissed off. I I'm wanting for I'm waiting for a cause to act a fool when something pops off. I need love to to hell with social distancing. 
for that makes me feel I will die alone. I wish I could ju just not be so pissed. Every time I talk to my mom right now on the phone, I, I want to connect with people. I want to connect with friends. I really, I really know what, I really don't know what to do with my time, but it will be at an end. I don't want to give into those thoughts. I don't want to give into those, into the madness. And I, but every time something gets restricted, my anger and my into, my, my, my anger and my mental illness become a habit. I want to get my needs met like everything like everyone else and trying to free trying trying not to freak out like everyone buying the, all the TP off on the shelves. I want to go I want I don't want to give in to fear. I don't want to give in to hate. I just need I just need me I just I just just I just Need my needs to be met to find true love before it's too late. But the world, but the world and this COVID nineteen have have want me to save it, f save it for a different date. And I'm just too stubborn to wait, not wanting to go down with with, with that fate. I don't really want to have a fight with my neighbors. I don't. I don't. I just don't. I just. I just want something to go. I just want something good to happen. Something's got to give. I just want to fucking live. <coughs> I. But I don't care if I die trying. I. I tell. I tell you this. I wish I could make more connections at the, this time. Not. Not worry about st stuff, the stuff, and concerns people people buying everything out. I guess that's a lesson learned. I guess in all God's timing, the ships are going to sail. The doors are sliding open. I, I gotta think of what I need to do and think to gain things that matter most. Not the stuff where is not not the stuff it was worth buying for COVID nineteen is here in such a bad timing, and these I guess are really I guess and these times I guess are really trying. Yeah, some of the words some of the words in that kind of got cut out too. I need I need to fix that. Um, yeah, see some of some of the words some of the words are kind of. Some of the words are kind of like messed up in that, so um, towards the end, at least. But I mean, I under I understood what I meant. I mean, sometimes I write and I just get into this weird thing, and honest to God, I can't see a fucking thing with the definitely can't see a fucking thing. Yeah, see, it's like the bright light. Hold on. <laughs> Bright light in my fucking face. <sighs> a little bit better. You know, I'm trying to read shit and the bright light. I mean, sometimes that light's good and sometimes I'm going, I'm about to go blind, you know. Um, but this one about COVID-19 needs a little work. Thought that was good, but it's not. <sighs> Fucking autocorrect. Fucking autocorrect. <sighs> Can't answer my messages right now, people. Thank you for sending me. Thank you for sending me messages, but I cannot answer them right now. I'm in the midst of doing something. Leave me alone. If you're watching my live, thank you. If you're not, then maybe you can watch it when I'm done. But, I mean, obviously some of it's going to be kind of a train wreck because the poems are not as 
well put together as they should be. I mean, I usually when I print, you know, usually when I print stuff out, I have to fix them or um, stuff like that. But um, I got people messaging me with shit about I don't know what, but I need people to like stop messaging me right now while I can work. You know, obviously I'm doing a live, and they could see that if I, you know. They weren't, you know, they have their heads up their butts. <sighs> I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave those, I'm going to leave it on those poems, I guess. I mean, I could do another poem. I mean, I, I have plenty of time to do another poem. I don't know what poem I would like to do. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will do another poem. This is an untitled poem about exes. So this is an untitled poem. I wrote this about my exes. About my exes. The thought about my exes coming back, actually. No particular ex. Just, that's just them coming back into my life. Me thinking about an ex or my exes coming back makes me want to throw up. When will we learn learn to grow up? The fuck... When will we the fuck up? I, ca I can't... I can never say I loved them any, any such, any, in any such way. Doubt they would like like me now, like like me like would like where I am now, or would stay. If they come back in my life, would I pay? Sometimes I question going straight gay, and then maybe then again, if a male would come up to me, it, it wouldn't matter either way. I have been through. I have been with some some pretty some prissy male bitches, some people who cause drama, even snitches. But not not going to help them dig their ditches, because the balls because this because this because because this my ball field this is my ball field and I'm throwing the pitches. Would I take them back? Hell no. For X means expired. Those motherfuckers have to go. Gotta stand tall in who I am, stand up for myself, and say the word no. We are all hating on each other with fucking cocks to blow. Yeah, I was feeling some type of way about my exes. I wrote that, you know. Thinking about all the people I dated and shit, and just like, I don't, I really don't want you back because I don't really see, think, see us working out as. You know, obviously, obviously, I don't know if I'm going to get published because certain pub some publishers might not want to do it with all the swears and the cock blowing and all the other, you know, language and shit like that. But, you know, I, obviously, I, you know, rappers, rappers write like that and other people write like that. And I, I kind of just, I write how I write, you know, whether what, what makes a good poem, I really don't know. I mean, I, I'm writing and I'm writing and I'm writing and. No one, no one really ever tells me how how my, how they think of my poems and shit like that. So, um, hold on, why? Hold on one second, why? I, I I check out this message. Okay. I don't know. Somebody, somebody, somebody's sending me something on Oprah visiting a country where a black person had something. I don't know, but I, 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 I you know, people. <laughs> it's nice and all, but I'm, I'm just not in the mood. You know. Annoyed that my phone's going off for that when I'm trying to read my poems or trying to work through my shit, but, um,
All right, so I'm going to read this one. This might be my last poem for the night. I don't know how much time I have left on the live, but uh, this is called the I Admire You A Lot. This is for Chichala, and this is a poem I wrote for her. I'm going to try to practice it a couple of times. Uh, maybe she's watching, maybe she's not. If she sees this, hopefully I don't screw up. But um, I'm going to read this, you know. Your talent grow your talent your talent glows your smile radiant your heart shines bright like that of a million suns it must make you smile to think of all the hearts you won by the poems you read i know when i hear you read i know black girl and woman black girl and woman magic ain't dead i can't wait for me to read those books and take a take a look inside the world your your world of art and appreciate the time you you took and the the time you the time you took to to create your part when when i see you i can't wait to speak sometimes i have to wait i wish i could talk to you talk to you more in a in a heart to heart heart to heart in a one on one fashion one one on one fashion conversation i hope my friendship with you is everlasting, or whatever we turn out to be. I don't want to ruin this relationship and have you go free, like so many others in the past. I guess somewhere, somewhere in my heart, I'm concerned. I, I wonder if, if we will last. You're an amazing writer, a mother, a powerful black woman, full of class and respect. There are so many things I want to get to know. So many things I want to ask. So many things I don't know yet. Wondering if there will ever be a right time. Like so many of my artist friends to chat. There's only so much hours in a day. But I admire you a lot and hope that admiration will stay. Maybe if I show you more of who I am as a person, would you judge me? Would you look the other way? I guess this is my form of expression of my way of saying, hey... I know you know who you are already with me lighting the way or telling you who who this is a poem is about or maybe you won't maybe you won't and you won't and you won't and you won't figure it out but I tell you one thing you you make me smile my friend will my friend never I never want to pout Trying to find a way to honor you. I guess that's what this poem was about. Who about my friend who's a poet and an artist I, who that I admire a lot, and and in the life that you that you got. I hope that I hope to see things for what they are, not for what and not, for what they are, and not for what they're not. Because I have been admiring you quite quite a real lot. With the, with your poetry, you you talk your talk shows and acting and so much more. It's people like you that remind me things are worth fighting for. There are so there are there are still good people out there. Even after my heart was broke, even if it was only two times that we even really had to spoke. You are a very inspirational woman, and I admire you a lot. I don't know how to end this poem with the creativity that I got, but you won my admiration a lot. So I, I, I kind of got the gist of that. There were a couple words and things that needed a little bit changing, but I mean, I, I mean, I compare. I don't know what happened to the one I entered on the because I entered this poem on the library's. Uh, book corner thing and some of the words were uh taken out of there but but this but this poem here like all the words seem to be there so i swear it's my autocorrect i, I swear it's my autocorrect or whatever is going on but i mean most of it makes sense i mean some of it needs some of it needs a little work but that was for my friend chichala i mean if she re if she hears you know she you know if she does decide to watch the video, hopefully she knows that I'm. <laughs> she doesn't mind me cursing a lot because I'm just cursing like a sailor tonight. But um, that was for my friend Chichala. 
Um, obviously my phone's on 15%, so it's gonna die soon, but let me, uh, let me try to see what I can do for another poem, possibly. Or maybe, maybe I'll just end it there, you know, and I'll just do those couple for now. I'll try to maybe edit them and figure out how to maybe do another video and maybe read them again and see how I've improved, you know, the poem or something like that. But, you know, they still need a little bit of editing, so, um... Yeah, peace. You know, I'm I'm sorry for swearing like a sailor. I'm just in a very, I'm frustrated. I, I'm very frustrated. I I got you know I I gotta just I'm I'm not I'm not totally following my passion a little bit. There's a lot I want to do. I mean, I wanted to do this, but there's a lot of other things I wanted to do too. And it's just like, I'm stalling. I'm stalling because I there's there's things I want to happen and they're not happening right away and they're pissing me off. So, um. I don't know. I mean, there's other things I would like to do, too, like open mics and stuff, but I can never seem to join at the right time. So, I hope you're all well. I hope all is well. I hope all is good. Um, yeah. Peace.